All right. Wait, do we have the book we need? <laughs> I forgot all about that. We might not be able to get in right now. Keeper of the portal. I'm not a doormat. Hold, travelers. Before you will be allowed entrance, you must donate a tome of great value to our libraries. Oh, we have the book you require. We don't have a book, but I used to live here. We have the book you require. You have met the requirements to gain entry to our most holy library. It is fine to see the child of Orion once again within these hallowed grounds. Please have your less civilized friends refrain from causing trouble. We are very strict with the letter of the law, as you well know, Heliax. Uh, mm hmm, mm hmm. I have returned to Candlekeep. I must find Realtar and expose his connection to recent events. I should head to the Central Keep right away. Here we go. We're home. Home, sweet home. Ah, oh, feels kind of good to be back. I mean, we gotta go say hi to everybody first. Realtar's not going anywhere, I'm sure. Yep, this is where I grew up, guys. There's Hull. Hey, Hull. Long time no see, buddy. I don't remember anything about you, but I remember your name. Now, there's a face I never thought I'd see again in a million years. When we heard about Garayan's passing, Fulla and I went out to gather his body, but you were nowhere to be seen. I don't know what you two came across that night, but Garayan died a noble death saving you from it. It's been a while. That night's all a blur. We were ambushed, and he told me to run, so I did. I need your help, Hull. Thanks for taking care of his remains, Hull. I didn't have the means. Someday we'll sit over a mug of ale, and I'll tell you about it. I look forward to it, kid. Good guy, Hull. It's crazy being back. It's been one hell of an adventure so far. I think the fact that we weren't allowed to come back makes coming back feel that much sweeter. It feels so much smaller. <laughs> this sounds so cliche to say, but it does. It felt a lot bigger when I was here at the beginning. No sooner said than done. My now, girl's as clean as an elven. Aye, now there's a rep scallion. Set on the little wisp now and make every bolt count. Where are they? Call them off, Winthrop. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Winthrop, you old fool. If I had ar an arrow for every one of those practical jokes you've played on me, I'd... I'd... I don't know. I'd have a lot of arrows. Oh, met my friend. You'll never take me alive. I like the second one. Yes, you'd run me right out of the fletching business in a flash. In a flash, you, you would. That's good to see you, your impish face again. Kind of wish Emma Wynn was here with us. I don't know if she'd say anything, but... Now, fill me in on what it is you've been doing lately. I've been trying to get to the bottom of this metal crisis. A merchant's guild is involved somehow. The Iron Throne. You know anything about him? Been adventuring, Winthrop. There's a world out there, and it's it needs a righteous old kick in the arse. Every now and again, doesn't it? Iron Throne. The Iron Throne, child. Wow. Why, there'd be no bigger pro no bigger and more dastardly mercantile consortium on all the Western realms. They've been barred from the from Cormier for the for their unsavory practices but all it's done is make them nastier you'd best steer clear of them as long as you've still got a life in ye all right make it quick reaver no sooner you weren't here before By Moradin's hammer. you've been away without leave soldier are you expecting forgiveness are you expecting redemption we'll spar me I want 500 push-ups, and I want them now. Huh? <laughs> don't. Do I? I don't remember you, Reaver. Sorry, buddy. You were probably... I guess you were... Were you one of the people who be dueled or something? A waste of my All the talents. tutorial people are gone. It's something I've also noticed walking through. Drippin! What's going on, Drippin? How's the cows doing? Heliax! I didn't expect... I didn't think you were ever coming back. What's it like out there? It's pretty scary, Dreppin. There's more to that iron crisis than the bandits everyone's talking about. That's a lot of fun. I'm not going to be here a lot for long. You should come with me when I go. It's... it's big. 
I don't know how else to put it. I lived my entire life within these walls, and in the past while, I've seen 50 times as much as these walls could ever hold. More than that. It's weird, though. All that space and barely a book in it. I never realized how special Candy Keep really is. Yeah, people come from all over to see the books here. All sorts of folk, too. Bards, nobles, priests, mages. Volo's even been here, and... Elminster, too. Remember? A couple of, ju a couple of just plain old merchants that even wandered in the other day. Mm-hmm. Said they were with the Iron Throne. We're here to do some business. They're still around, last I heard. Good to know. That's the first time I killed... That's the building I first killed a man in. The priest's quarters. All right. Time to go to the keep. Salutations. I am Catterly, a visitor of Candlekeep, like yourself. Candlely. Or Catterly. Salutations. I am Catterly, a visitor of Candlekeep, like yourselves. Pardon if I seem out of sorts, but the journey has been long and treacherous, and my labors age me so. May I inquire as to your name? I am certain I have seen your face before, but I cannot fully place it. Heliax is my name, if it is any business of yours. I am Heliax, and I called this place home for many years. I am sorry, but I don't have time to talk or speak with you at the moment. I am Heliax, and I called this place home for many years. Heliax! Then I know you well, though you may be hard-pressed to remember. I was last here years ago, and conferred with your foster father as you were off to, off to chores. I am not much your senior, really. What? <laughs> you're, you're ancient, man. I'm certain you tire of hearing it, and... Yeah, I'm cer certain you tire of hearing it, and that... And that legion have told you the same. But Garion was well known to me. His death has been mourned by many. I do not wish to dwell on his death. I moved on with my life, though I cherish the memories. His death is in the past and shall remain there. I am my own person and have my own concerns. I have received sympathy from many a person I have never met before. Who was he to receive such an adulation? I don't know how the, the tone is of this, but I am genuinely curious. Semper respect is all that is. Garion did many good things for many people. When last I spoke with him, I was barely acquainted with his fellow, my, with his fellows myself. But those who harp to tend, harp to tend to keep themselves their affiliations. I don't. <laughs> he was a long-standing member, from what I understand. Likely, he said nothing to you because he wished your childhood to be as normal as possible. I suppose all parents wish this, whether the child is theirs or not. I have yet to meet anyone who made claims to achieving it, though. How do you wager you have fared? Mm, I'm rich, as well as can be expected. Though I have learned much about myself, and perhaps was better left on that was perhaps better left unknown. Yeah, I'm, you know, pretty cold-hearted. As much as I would like to continue our chat, I have important matters to attend to. Forgive me, but I must go. Yeah, I'll go with the first one. Would that I had a gold coin for every person I have heard say such a thing. I am sure your troubles vary greatly from my own experience, but we all have trials we must overcome. We all have a side that would not see the light of day too often. What matters is how much strength you wish to let it have. Ah, such words are better saved for classes and med meditations, not for reunions. I will take my leave, though perhaps I shall see you again before I am to go. The tomes of Candlekeep are very nearly endless, and I am sure to be here for a ten day at least. There are some within the Central Keep who wish to speak with you, so it would be wise of you to, wi to visit there sometime. Farewell, my friend. Farewell. Catterly. I met an old friend of Garion's today. Catterly was his name, and he recognized me from his previous visits to Candlekeep. He did not appear to be much older than I am, but he has seemed possessed of an understanding that defies his years. I wish I'd had time to speak with him further. But I don't. Got a city to save. <gasps> Flidia! Oh, why hello. Have you seen have you seen my book? Wait. No, you found that already, didn't you? Oh, I just don't know anymore. You haven't been around lately, have you? No, I haven't been back since Kikorion died. Never changed Fidelia or Flidia. 
We love you just the way you are. Yep, we love you just the way you are. That's enough to make an old woman blush. Grand sure raised a charmer in you. He sure did. Yes. Oh, now I kind of want to look around real quick. To keep before talents. we go in. Just in case there's anybody else. I don't think there will be. There's all you guys, which I still don't really know what you guys are about. <laughs> That's probably everybody, though. Oh, no, watch her. Okay. I wonder how big it is inside this keep. Sometimes in these games the scaling can be a little weird, but this looks like it could be like a really big place. Like inside. Like dungeon level. Like dirt like tower level. Okay. Home, sweet no home. Said than done. And if... Something on your mind? Karen. Heliax, my child, look at you. Your face has gained some new lines since the days when I tutored you. Please stay back. You were my tutor once, but who are you now? I cannot know. I'm sorry, Karen, but I can trust no one. I've become broody. <laughs> ah, Karen, you speak true, but it is not your fault. You prepared me as well as you could for what lay beyond these walls. I just pray that I am prepared for what I shall find within them, now that I have returned. Why? What is wrong here? Shall I tell the Watchers? The Watchers are no more use than a bundle of sticks. Please, just tell me if you have seen anything strange in the library this past while. Yes, call the Watchers, but first tell me if you have seen anything strange about the library today. Call them and tell me. Strange? Wait, yes. This is just the word I would have used for that, uh, Covaris fellow. He was right here beside me, talking, or taking Alondo's prophecies from their place on the shelf and reading them. I could hear his voice, recognize the seer's words upon his quiet breath, but when I turned to steal a glance at him from the corner of my eye, it was the strangest thing. His eyes were closed, and he was reciting page after page as if from memory. He heard, he heard y your footsteps, it seems, and wandered off. I was just returning the prophecies to the rightful place here. It might be wise to take a look, if this... Cor Corvarus is dangerous, though. I'm afraid I'm too old and bookish to be more than a hindrance. Forgive me. But I must leave you now. According to my old tutor... Stop. There we go. According to my old tutor, a visitor named Corvarus has demonstrated more than passing familiarity with the prophecies of, of Alondo the Seer. Perhaps I should refresh my own memory of the prophecies. Afterward, I should like to question this Corvarus fellow. Okay. There's a reader there. What do we got here? A normal book. Oh, okay. <laughs> you there, reader. Ugh, a pretentious pile oh. of petty ponderances. No wonder you surface folk never get anything done. You're too busy poring over ancient manuscripts. Where's the flair? Where's the excitement? No, oh, no, man. It's a dull world. History of the Dales in the Elven Court. Okay, I'm not going to read that. If it's not the prophecies, I'm not going to read it. He was over here, so this might be it. Nope. He might have been up here then. Nope. A letter. During the days of the Avatars, the Lord of Murder will spawn a score of mortal progeny. These offsprings will be aligned good and evil, but chaos will flow through them all. When the beast's bastard ch children come of age, they will bring havoc to the lands of the Sword Coast. One of these children must rise above the rest and claim the father's legacy. This inheritor will shape the history of the Sword Coast for centuries to come. Is that a um, prophecy? Then it have a name. So I don't know. The spawn of the Lord of Murder are fated to come to come into their inheritance through bloodshed and misery. 
It is the hope of their father that only one shall remain alive to inherit his legacy. I foresee that the children of Bao shall kill each other in a bloody massacre. Hmm. What's the significance of these letters? History of Munsi, no. These walls contain the world's knowledge. What? A waste of my Theoden. talents. Well, dip me in broth and call me stewed. If it isn't little Heliax. Well, I haven't seen you here for nearly, um, quite some time anyway. Hello, Theoden. How have you been? Get out of my way, old man. I have no time to speak with you. How have you been? I still remember you running about the keep in your little swaddling clothes, pestering the elders and spooking the cows. Ain't that right, Jessup? Surely was. Yep, of course. You never did stay in those rags of, your, of yours long. Yes, yes, I remember. But how have you been? I don't have the time for this. You old geezer, goodbye. Yes, yes, I remember. You'd be naked as a jaybird in the moment someone turned their back on you. I remember the day that fellow Blackstaff came floating in and there you were, tearing around the corner the outer keep with Gryan hot on your trail. Took the cloak right off his back, you did. It made yourself into made yourself just the cutest little I don't need this kind of aggravation. You geezer get lost. Yes, 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 I remember. Can we drop it, please? How have you been? Wait, wait, I remember it all now. There was Kelvin Blackstaff trying his hardest to look important while you ran through the stables with his cape tied around your waist. Such a lark, eh, Jessup? I thought I'd catch my breath from laughing, or catch my death from laughing, I did. You and me both. Grime was shaking like a leaf, he was so mad. I really should be going. Nobody was sure what to do, and then Glebin mutters some words and catches you by the scruff of the neck with some sort of spectral hand. He hauls you out and drops you right in front of him, grabbing his filthy cape in the process. Everyone was scared they were, weren't they, Jessup? Sure enough, scared witless. Yep, and then old Calburn burst out in the biggest laugh you ever heard. Everyone in the keep was laughing like mad except you, Heliax. You just stood there naked as the day you were born and wondered and wondering what the fuss was about. I tell you, those were the days. Ah, uh, yes, I think I'll be going now. Oh, certainly, little one. Stop by any any old time, though. I have some paintings of you as a youngster. I'm sure your your little friends would love to see. Remember the one of Heliax on the beer... On the bearskin rug, Jessup? Surely do. And the buff as usual. Cute as a bug, you were. Go play with your friends now. Go on. You guys heard nothing. I mean it. Alright, Jessup. Our library is a man's harem of nothing. Oh, hello, young one. I trust you are keeping out of trouble? Of course you are. Run along and play with your little friends now. Look at these damn prophecies. That were supposedly <laughs> being taken care of. Or not being taken care of, but being read. No, excuse me, but I'm late for my class. Hey, I remember you. Your father was Gorion, wasn't it? You should see all the strange fellows who've come to the keep these days. These men work for that mercantile organization. Iron Throne, I think it's called. They've been meeting with the two spookiest people I've ever seen. It's like clockwork. Every day they meet on the third floor to discuss who knows what. Like, what knows what kind of dastardly plots. <laughs> I'm sure. They're just boring old merchants counting their money. <laughs> Tell me that the Iron Throne leaders have been receiving mysterious visitors on the third floor. Okay. Oh, that's the stairs. Okay. What do we got in here? History of Shadowlands. I, I kind of wish it just went like to anybody. Whoever's closest. History of whatever. What's this? History of Cormier. Excuse me, reader. History of Symbia. No, excuse me, but I'm late for my oh, classes. Same thing. Okay. Back room over here. This goes deep. No, 
Excuse me, but I'm late for my classes. Wait, was that? Uh, borrowed a great deal of his father's treasure. Oh, okay, blah, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Nothing there. Here's the cooks. Don't need to worry about them. Oh, this is a nice little reading spot here. Let's do Shadowlands 2. And nothing. Okay. Maybe those letters were the prophecies. They sounded familiar. Or not familiar, but they sounded like prophecies. Did I talk to you already? No, excuse no. me, but I'm late for my Alright, up we go. Next floor. Our library is a man's harem of knowledge. Bendalus. Or Bendalus? Hello, Heliax. It's good to see you here once again. A pity you could not have returned during a more restful time. Why? What was going on that would cause such a distress? You always worry, Werbeer. I'm not sh I'm sure all is well. What business is it of yours? Yeah, what's going on? Oh, it's nothing, I'm sure. It's just that... Well, things just seem a little strange around here. Those decidedly unmerchant like merchants, for one. And some of our own monks are acting odd as well. One fellow in particular. And who would that be? Well, there's this fellow named Coveris. I assume he is a visiting sage of some sort. But he seems more interested in our guests than the tomes. He makes me nervous. I think he's had the same effect on the others as well. Young Shistal has been out of sorts for days now. He's not as thick-skinned as I. You remember how nervous he used to be? He's quite the opposite now. Seems like a totally different person. I worry about him. I should go. It's been nice speaking with you. Yep, yeah, you too, buddy. My old friend Ben Dallas has noticed something particular about rec recent visitors to Kendalkeep. In particular, he noticed unmerchant-like merchants and a sage named Corveris, who arrived at about the same time. Okay, priest of Og Ogma. A waste of my talent. These walls contain the world's knowledge. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, can you tell me where I could find uh, Teth Teth Tethoral? Uh, Tethoro is a very busy man, and I don't keep track of his schedule, sorry. Okay, what about the other guy? Wisdom Olrant. Is only possessed by the you can find Olrant in his apartment on the sixth floor. I wouldn't bother him there, though. He doesn't like anonymous intrusions. It's the sixth floor, jeez. How many floors are there? History of the North. History of the North. It's a big place. Is there a quicker way of... Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Nope, I don't want it. The Lord of Murder shall perish. Huh? But in his doom he shall spawn a score of mortal progeny. Chaos will be sown from their passage. So saith the wise Alondo. Heliax, you look distressed. What is it, child? Uh, there is trouble here, Chanter. You must help me. You are right. I have felt it too. Pray tell me how this is how this aging frame can help you. I must know who has visited the keep lately and where they have spent their time. As Chanter, you know the history of this keep better than any any other. I have grown up here. I have played within its walls, but there were many places I was never allowed to go. I'm older now, and I will go where I must. Go, but please, are there any places in this keep of which I was never told? What right have you to ask that child? I'm not a child anymore, Chanter. The entire keep is in danger, even if it's m even its most secret and sacred places. Please, Chanter. Grime would have had it so. <sighs> I'm growing old, and the young are not so young anymore. Nor the carefree so carefree. Alondo the Seer. The one who founded this fortress of knowledge and whose prophecies I chant each day. He is entombed deep in the bowels of this place. I'll tell you this, Heliax, because you're right. It is time you knew, but I beg of you. In Gorion's name, do not venture into those trapped and warded halls unless some higher power than myself bids you go. Your stepfather would never forgive me for your loss. I must go now, child. <laughs> Heliax, it's time to chant the seer's prophecies as I always have. Hmm. Keep holds many secrets, but I have discovered one of them at last. 
The chanter says cryptic says cryptic crypts lie beneath the creek. Oh my god, the keep, holding the remains of Alando the seer, and who knows what? Who else? Unfortunately, the chanter could tell me nothing of the dangers in the crypts. Instead, imploring me not to enter them. Oh, we're gonna enter them, all right. Believe you me. Dragon Coast. So many books. I wish those letters just said that if they were the prophecies or not. <laughs> then I wouldn't have to keep looking. So Watcher, Kagain is my guy, obviously. Hey, there's the one guy. In the year of the turret, you need. In the year of the turrets, a great host will come from the east like a plague of locusts. So saith the wise Alando. Ah, uh, I thought I might find you somewhere around here. Allow me to introduce myself. Perhaps another time. There is some research that I am currently working on which demands my attention. Please do. My name is Corveris. I used to work for your father writing messages to his Harper friends in Waterdeep. Before he passed on, he entrusted this ring to me and asked that I give it to you should evil ever befall him. Will you take it? Well, evil befell him, all right. But I want nothing of your baubles. And what evil befell him, Corver Cor Corveris? It is my father's will, and then I shall wear it. Thank you. But what evil? You were there. You saw it all. A woman, an armored figure, two ogres wielding clubs, and two archers. But Gorion's petty magic was of little use against them, wasn't it? Was it not? And you. You fled with your tail between your legs, hidden amidst the trees until dawn broke. And now it comes full circle, doesn't it? The Iron Throne's so close that you can almost touch them and wreak your revenge for that night. You know me well, Corvarus, and my father too. Give me that ring and let me find my vengeance. You're right, Corvarus. I was there. Myself, my father, and six others who tried to kill us. Where were you, if you know so much? If you be so void of trust, I am surprised you have made it this far. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? It is of little matter. Go seek your vengeance or your doom at the hand of the Iron, ha Iron Throne. I wash my hands of it. Um. Yeah, well, fuck you, man. <laughs> I feel like it was pretty reasonable. You had, like, every detail. You expect me to trust you? Like, no, that's not how it works. All right, I'm going to assume that the prophecies were those letters. They sound prophetic enough. I can't believe it. What ring was it? Did I just, like, did I get it? No, he didn't even give it to me. Oh, he's no friend of my father's. Why should I trust him? I'm trying to justify myself now. All right, this is the floor that they supposedly meet on. Hmm. Tuth, Brunos, Realtar, there they are. My dear sir, you must realize that it is manners that make the gentleman. So would you kindly prove that you are one by leaving? The right people can afford to be rude, but this is not you. Leave now, before my ir irate companion, Brunos. Let's his temper get ahead of his reason. <laughs> Fine, we'll be on our way. You're the leaders of the Iron Throne. We're the ones who've caused you so much trouble over the past weeks. We know what you're all about, and soon so will Duke Elton. You're the bastards behind all the trouble from here to Baldur's Gate. Now that we have you where we want you, don't think we're going to let you live. This is most distasteful. I have always known that rudeness is now the weak is how the weak make themselves look strong. Okay. <laughs> even if you were some even if you were to somehow beat us in battle, how would you escape the keep? Would you think that the monks would let you go about murdering everyone within their keep? Crash the muttonheads, boys. I mean you guys have attacked first. Oh, 
I don't no. want to talk. For sure! Is there really no one else you can bother? Uh, I don't know if this is the right decision to be doing, but it is where we are at, so... <laughs> You filthy swine. He just fired that in the middle of a freaking. What is he doing? Go pester someone else. Yes, of course. Jesus, okay. What? No sooner said than done. Um. We need to stop him from doing that. Mm. What do you want? Make it, of course. No sooner said than done. Alright. Reltar's dead. <laughs> Whoops. I'm sure the monks won't mind. I am one of them after all. It's all good. Alright, we'll just hold on to that stuff. What? Now what were they doing in here? Like there wasn't like a letter or anything. I just just straight up killed him. Huh. Well, we know that the monks are involved somehow. That was the kind of I don't know. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I don't. Know. Not sure how we should feel about that. I mean, did. Did our journal update at all? Okay, well, I found him. <laughs> and now he's dead. So... Make it, of course. Um... Nothing I picked up is gonna, like, reveal anything, is it? I guess we could identify him. Uh, okay. I figured this is all going to be plus one stuff. Okay. Well... Yes? That's one way to handle people, I suppose. Let's go up to the next floor. A waste of my talents. It seems like their magic missed everybody, so that's good. Heliax, stay where you are. I do not wish to harm you, but you must come with me. You are to be questioned regarding the murder of the Iron Throne leaders. They were apparently killed not an hour ago. Yeah, <laughs> a few seconds ago, actually. And an item of yours was found with the bodies. Please. You will get a fair trial if you come quietly. I will use force if I must. Hmm. Do not do this. You must believe me. I am innocent. I... What? Me? Kill them? No. <laughs> Alright, I surrender. Take me to Ulvrant or a Tethero so I can prove my innocence. Yes, I killed them. But they attacked me. They're the leaders of the Iron Throne, the people behind the Iron Shortage, and everything else that's been wrong with the Sword Coast. We did everyone a favor by killing them. Yeah. That is not for me to decide. Please, you are my word that you will not be harmed. If you are innocent, you will be judged accordingly. I will not be judged at all. Draw your weapons. I will come quietly. Your weapons will not be necessary. Hmm. 
This is an interesting one. So, Heliax's saving grace, you know, his, his redeeming quality, if you will. You know, he's a greedy, selfish, ambitious person. But he cares about his friends. Right? That's sort of his crux. His, his Achilles heel. Is he does have attachment problems. You know, he's an Anakin. In that sense. Although that is a little, it's not the same, but you you get what I'm trying to say, right? He will do good things for his friends, and this is other people he grew up with, right? This is an unnamed watcher, but I assume he probably knows the name of every single person here, and they him. He doesn't want to kill them, despite you know him thinking like, "Hey, you guys just need to listen to me. I'll come quietly." I'm glad to hear that. I did not wish to harm you. I'm sure this mess will be cleared up soon. No, it, it, I'm sure it won't be. Oh, we're in prison. I know this place. And this is the end of the game. Ulrant. So, Heliax, you have sullied your father's name by defiling his home and bringing ruin to a peace that has lasted for centuries. I spit on you and all your friends. Your transgressions will be punished in the most severe form. I formally accuse you of, of, of the murders of Brunos Kostak and Ryotar Anchev. Excuse me? Like, this is a fair trial? Why have you, why have you accused me of such a thing? You were seen fleeing the site of the murder by the guest known as Cor Covaris. I knew I couldn't trust that bastard. From everything we have seen and found, it's not hard to figure out figure what your purpose was. But I have been told you have been trying to place all the misfortune of the Sword Coast squarely on the shoulders of the Iron Throne. I assume you and your friends are assassins in the employ of Om. You're an idiot. <laughs> Perhaps you were sent up north to create disorder, discord in the region before an Omnian invasion. I'm as little. You and your friends are to be sent to Baldur's Gate where, an, where an appropriate punishment will be administered. Hello. Tetheril. Hello, young one. I am sorry to see thee in such a terrible circumstance. I know thee well enough to see that you have been falsely accused. Well, only a little bit. <laughs> I, mean, I did kill them. I didn't flee. And I didn't deny it. But they did attack me first. I mean, I did threaten them. And I probably would have killed them anyway. But they did They did strike first. Tomorrow, Ulrant will, be, will most likely sentence thee to be sent to Baldur's Gate. There... Thou wouldst receive the death penalty for the for these actions. I know that Garai would not want to see his only child killed a scant few weeks after his own death. Well, it's actually been like months, almost a year. But thanks. Tis as a favor to his memory that I will help thee escape. Make thy way through the catacombs beneath the library, but disturb them not. I have your possessions with me. You must take them and go with haste. Do you know anyone by the name of Coveras? I know of no one named Coveris, but Coveris is the reverse of Saravok. Ser hmm. A young man who accompanied the leaders of the Iron Throne when they first came. I know not where he has gone. He was there that night. I knew it. I knew I shouldn't take that ring. I'm glad I didn't. It is now time for you to go, Heliax. I can teleport you to the secret room that leads to the catacombs. For from there, you are on your own. You are on your own. You must be careful within the catacombs, as there are many guardians and traps, and perhaps whoever planned these murders, and perhaps whoever planned these murders. However dangerous the catacombs may be, they are a safer alternative to Ulrant's wrath. 
Uh, why can't you just teleport us outside of Candlekeep? Yeah. Candlekeep is protected by powerful runes that seal it from divinatory and alteration magics. If I were to teleport you outside of Candlekeep, you'd be ripped asunder. When you came in contact with the protective field, trust me, child, this is the only way. He's a bro. I've been accused of murdering the leaders of the Iron Throne, which I am guilty of, including Realtar. While I did not commit the deed, well, I did. I believe that my actions were just. Oh yeah, I said, I, I'm dumb, I can't read. While I did commit the deed, I believe that my actions were just. Caver has turned me in. I must investigate him more closely. Okay. This door leads back to the upper levels of the keep. From the look of it, it is heavily warded. Luckily, Teth Tethoral teleported me just... Uh, teleported you past such... Oh my god, I can't read. Such an uh, obstacle. Common sense dictates that you make your escape through the opposite door. Uh, Tethoral has freed me from my imprisonment, knowing that I am not guilty. He has sent me to the catacombs beneath the Cadenic Keep, where I should be able to make my escape. I must then travel to Boulder's Gate to stop Savarak. Saravak. Covarus, as he has been calling himself recently. Okay, so he's the the main guy behind everything. No I guess. Said than done. A bunch of scrolls. More scrolls. And more scrolls. Okay, don't need scrolls. Okay. If I recall correctly, it's Rock Crush's Lizard. I won't forget that one again. Uh. Mm-hmm. Night Singer, give me power. Uh, we need to heal. What? I don't want to talk. Okay. Make it so we've been warned of traps. No sooner said than done. So we should probably take this as carefully as we did Derelict's Tower. Like you. That. Flidia. My book. You stole my book, you cur. A doppelganger? Huh. Go pester someone else. Yes. Ah! What? Of course. Interesting. I wasn't expecting to find a doppelganger down here. Okay. Make it quick. A waste of my talent. So we know that he told us not to take anything, but I mean, come on. <laughs> let's be let's be serious here. Save it. That's my last perception potion. Maybe there's not as many traps as we thought. Oh, there they are. This is probably trapped as well, huh? I need it. Why me? Why me? Why not? Yes, of course. All right. What? I knew it. Of course. Huh? <gasps> I like it here, where the gold grows. Yep. It is nice down here, huh? Okay. Do that, that. Oh, god damn it. What is this one? Clarity. What does that do? Brings people mind of confusion for your charm. Sure, go and drink that. Why not? Batalista's passport. Ring of fire resistance. The Grand Mage Batalista intended this item to aid in his travels in the plane of fire. 
and it is said he repeatedly summoned a salamander from the realm to aid in the construction. Salamanders not being known for their patience, it is likely he should not have pestered his instructor quite so much. The finger bearing this furnished, finished ring was indeed untouched by the inferno that claimed his, his tower. Had the finger been a, still been attached, Bat Batalista himself might have been fine. Yeah. Okay, fire resistance. Who needs a ring still? You need one. Here you go. Okay. Tome of Understanding. More wisdom. Okay. Make it quick. And wisdom up to 15. Look at that. Yes, of course. Feeling strong now. Okay. What? Go and drink that potion. You're gonna need it. A waste of my talents. All right, let's go down this way. I how big this place is. Save it. Okay, we got phase spiders. Oh, God! Run, Heliax, run! Wait, it stopped chasing me? Or is it fighting you guys already? No. Okay, well, everybody come on. Make it quick. No sooner said than done. The big chamber over that way, it looks like. Over here. Or maybe it's just in the hall. Who knows? Not I. Get him. Death to you all. There we go. Easy peasy. Yes. No sooner said than done. I hate the trap system <laughs> so much. Like, I should be able to see these traps. It's ridiculous that I can't. What? Of course. Wait until that disappears. I kind of wish I had gone and talked to everybody before I found Realtar. Like, I didn't get to explore all the library. It's kind of a shame. I hope we get to come back one day. There we go. Alright. Let's try this again. Back again. Get in there. All right. Make it quick. A waste of my talents. Death to you. I'm gonna work out some anger on quick you. No. Oh. Oh. Is the with my usual panache, I assume. Oh. Oh. Not again. Oh. oh my God, it's so annoying. Ah. I don't. Sure. What? No sooner said than done. Go, Pesta. Why me? Make it quick. 
A waste of my talents. I need an L. You what go you back there. Both of you go way back there. This. Great peril you three go in here. Right All right. Yes. All right, now you guys can come up Is here. Is there really no one else you can bother? What? There we go. No sooner said than done. And this one. That one. There we go. All right. Are you still getting experience? No, now you're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're at max. All right, everyone is at level cap now. No sooner said than done. I wish I could make invisibility potions. That'd be nice. <sighs> Freaking traps, man. They are the worst. A waste of my talents. There you are. Alright, so you're also trapped. <gasps> They're gonna be so pissed when they realize I've stolen everything from them. Hey, you don't let a thief into the treasure vault. Okay, that's all you gotta. That's all I have to say. The spirit's shield plus two, cloak of protection plus two. The spirit shield. This spirit's shield. The spirit's shield. This cloak. Wait, what? No, this cloak is said to focus the energies of one spirit into a force that protects them, him or her. Rumors of a vampire enslaved in the magical item are ever present, but this. They are impossible to prove without destroying the cloak. Um, I mean, I guess we can use... Anybody else using a cloak of protection? Pretty sure everybody else is using other things, so... There you go. Oh, we got the book, too. Gainful exercise strength. That's a good one. I'll go ahead and give this to... Alright. What's my strength right now? About to get 15 strength. I'm liking this. My strength is improved by one permanently. Awesome. Now strength is really good, right? Doesn't it like make my fat go better or something? I don't know. I don't know. It does something. Anything around the back? I wish you told me like whose tomb this was. Okay. That's it for this place. Move on down to the next corridor. Make it quick. A waste of my talents. Did I like turn off like my AI stuff? Like why am I not like automatically finding traps anymore? It's like in um D and D where you have to like stop and <laughs> search for traps every five freaking meters. Or feet or whatever your unit measurement is. Alright, it's 
free to come down this way, guys. I don't want to talk. Why me? What? No sooner said than done. Surely a trap right in front of me, right? Go past it. Why me? Make it quick. No sooner said than done. All right, well, this thing's definitely going to be trapped. They're always trapped. Let's get uh, corn in here, too. Yes, luck be a lady. Double the luck. Yes. A waste of All right. talents. You telling me it's not trapped? It's not in it. What? what the hell? A waste They've already of been here. Talents. Okay. Next one. Hope we find another uh, dexterity one. It'd be cool to get to 20 dexterity. All right, how the axe? Let's go, buddy. Of course. Take it nice and slow. It's gonna be a trap right here. <sighs> okay. Better late than never, I suppose. It's a dead end. No, it can't be. No, I took that damage for nothing. Damn it all. Yes. No all sooner right. said Check out that. what this one is. What? A waste of my talents. Here we got potions, and that's really it. Okay. Okay. You drink this potion. Give me some speed. All right. So I'll go in here. Of course. That looks like it's the way. So we're gonna go this way. Yes. No sooner said than done. Yeah. It looks like there's a big old chamber thing over here. Oh, maybe that's the way out. <laughs> That'd be something, huh? If I was a good boy, I'd just leave. But obviously, I'm going to steal everything from them. Ah! Aghast! I don't... All right. What? Make it, of course. Yes? There we go. Good job, Dorn. Oh my god. Death to you all! What the hell happened here? Candle keep, you need to get your shit together. What? That was the big room I thought I saw here. <laughs> Appearances no can be deceiving. Make it quick. No sooner said than done. Yes, a waste of my talents. What is that uh magic thing we're getting? Oh, you shooting ice arrows? I think that's what that is. What? No sooner said than done.
Yeah, that's what that is. Okay. Nope, not you. Not you either. Yep, you get in there. Oh my. What do you want? Fire one of these way in the back. Maybe not that far back. Yeah, right there should be good. Okay, never mind. With my usual Yes. What? Death to you all. Okay. <laughs> Garion's body net better not be down here, is all I'm saying. That's all I have to say about that matter. Make it a waste of my talents. What is this potion? An antidote. Hmm. What is this thing? Boring. Yes, no. All right. Catacombs explored. We got a, a wisdom point and a strength point. That's pretty good. It's a pretty rewarding uh, dungeon to get attribute points out of it. And at this stage in the game, I feel like we're probably not. I guess we need to get a cloak of protection too, as well, for uh, Baloth, which obviously he's not going to make that, m or he shouldn't be making that much use out of that, but it's good to have anyway. Gather your party before venturing forth. 